In this video, we're going to briefly look at ellipses, which will be centered at the origin, but where the y-axis is the major axis. Our ellipse will look like this. Again, it'll be more elongated along the y-axis. That's going to be our longest axis, and so all we really need to be concerned with here is labeling things a little bit differently. We know that the distance between the, the two foci is considered 2c, so this distance here is going to be c. We know that the distance from vertex to vertex, the length of the major axis, v1 to v2, is equal to 2 times a, so this distance here is going to be a, and the length of the minor axis is equal to 2b, so this distance here is going to be b, as well as this distance here. We know that the, the uh, ellipse the ellipse has symmetry along the y-axis and the x-axis. And so now what we are allowed to do is label some of these points. Again, here's our center at 0, 0. If our, if our foci the length between the two foci is 2c, then we can label the coordinates of this foci. We could call it f1. If we wanted to, this would be located at 0c, where focus 2 would be have the coordinate 0, negative c. Again, the y-axis is our, is our um, major axis, um, which allows us to then go and label the coordinates of our vertices. Since the whole distance is 2a, we can label this 0. a would be the coordinates of this point, and 0. negative a are the coordinates of the other vertex. Again, I think these can be interchanged, um, just in terms of how we're labeling them, v1 and v2. Um, it's being arbitrary as to which one is vertex 1 or ver vertex 2. Our minor axis is 2b, and that allows us to label the coordinates of these two points where the ellipse intersects the minor axis, and that will be b0 and negative b0. So again, we can look at the distance between the foci is 2c, which allows us to label this point and this point. The um, distance from one vertex to another, which is, occurs along the major axis, this distance is 2a, which allows us to label this point 0a and this point 0, negative a. And lastly, we have a minor axis, which is 2b in length, and that allows us to label this point b0 and this point negative b0. And as before, these three variables are connected by the equation c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So if we know two of these values, we can calculate the third. Again, when we're looking at an ellipse that's centered at the origin, but the y-axis is the major axis, most of the information hasn't changed. You just need to be careful when you're labeling the coordinates of the points. And the relationship between those three variables, which determine where the points will rest, is connected by a variation on the Pythagorean theorem, c squared equals a squared minus b squared. These are ellipses which are um, have a major axis of the of the y axis